Hi Pisces, Mary here. I have your forecast for the month of June 2018. And I'll just do a spread here. Give me a moment. All right, so the first card is the Knight of Pentacles. So you're working on something, Pisces, um, and there is, could be a change of career, something to help you out financially, to have more financial stability. So there's an en energy coming in to help you out with that, but it's a slow energy. The Knight's the Knight of Pentacle is the slowest of the Knights, um, but it's all about finance. So I feel like um, you're working on something, and it's it might not be happening as quickly as you want it to, but it is happening, so just hang in there and have faith. Um, because I see that you have the Eight of Wands, which is forward, fire, quick energy, and that's right next to that Knight of Pentacles. So if you just hang on and hang in there, um, things will start to get going for you on that project or whatever it is that you're working on. And then we have the King of Wands. So this could be a person coming into your life with the sign of uh, Aries, Leo, or um, Sagittarius, either a female or male. Um, but it could also be that you're feeling confident. It's um, the King of Wands feels confident. He has charisma. Um, He's action-oriented, so I feel like um, if you just hang in there, things will start going your way. <clears throat> you need to have inner strength as you look forward to, towards your goals. Um, she's going in the right direction, and the lion is following her. She has him on a lead, but um, it's very loose. I mean, he's going right, right along with her, so... If you have that inner strength, I feel like you're going to, um, towards the middle of the month, have everything that you need. You have choices. You have a lot of choices. This is the Seven of Cups, so um, lots of choices. You may have to make a decision, or you may have to prioritize things moving forward. You, you got the High Priestess for the month of June. It means that you are being divinely guided. Your intuition is high. So pay attention to that this month. And I feel like once you get through towards the end of the month, you're going to have something to celebrate. You're going to feel victorious. You know, this um, guy just came back from battle, and um, he, he won in battle. He's victorious, and everyone is celebrating. So I feel like that's coming for you towards the end of the month. Um, so that's a good thing. And you're feeling a little nostalgic. You know, you're looking back. Um, you're either feeling nostalgic about things from your past, um, past memories, uh, or someone is coming in from your past. So, um, but that will be towards, uh, towards the end of the month. And then this is the Nine of Cups. So this is the Wish Fulfillment card. I feel like you're going to get everything that you, you wish for. <laughs> Um, towards the end of the month. So it looks like the beginning of the month for you is going to be a little slow um, at first, but then that fire energy is going to come in and give you that little push um, that you need. You might have to have inner strength, but then I feel like you're going to have a lot of choices. Just follow your intuition, and you should be good for the month. Okay, Pisces? So let me just pull a few angel cards for you. This is Doreen Virtue's... Um, daily guidance. Spirit wants you to get to the ocean, which to me um, is all about cleansing, detoxing. So if you can't get to the ocean, try to take a sea salt bath, an Epsom salt bath, um, drink some lemon water, whatever you have to do to detox yourself. Um, and also, the ocean is very grounding. Uh, 
you know, walking on the beach. So you might want to try to be grounded this month as well. Okay. Maybe you can get to a lake. I mean, it's June, so maybe you can get to the ocean or a lake or something. Get near the water, that cleansing energy. Um, you might be getting signs from heaven this month. Uh, someone who has crossed over maybe trying to guide you. Guide you uh, with signs or symbols, feathers, coins, um, certain birds, I think cardinals. Um, sometimes people see doves. Uh, it just depends. Uh, my mom tries, when I see butterflies, I think of my mother. So um, just be aware, pay attention. Uh, know that you do have intuition. You did get the High Priestess card this month. <coughs> She's really, <coughs> excuse me, connected to the divine. It's allergy season. <laughs> but you have a deep knowing. You have that deep inner knowing. Trust it. This is number 43, 4 plus 3 adds up to 7. That means you're on the right path and you are being divinely led. Um, and it's a spiritual path. So trust in your own wisdom. Trust that you know what you're doing. Trust in that inner guidance. Okay, Pisces, one more deck. This is, um, this is uh, Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light. I probably forgot to say the other decks, but I use pretty much the same decks for every reading. Um, Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers, uh, Wisdom of the Oracle, and this is um, Keepers of the Light, which is our like uh, Ascended Masters. Lord Ganesh, Infinite Abundance. So I think you might start off a little rocky in the beginning, um, or slow. Not necessarily rocky, but it's going to be a good month for you, Pisces. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. So, um, yeah, I mean, it says that in the cards, in the tarot cards. So um, it looks like a good month. Just have faith. Uh, trust in the universe to have your back. It looks like you're going to... You know, come out with your wishes fulfilled and, and a real celebratory feeling towards the end of the month. Okay, Pisces, if this resonated with you, please let me know in a comment down below. If you'd like a private reading, you can go to my website, thelighthousemedium.com. I'd love to connect with you. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.